That was great. That was good. Cool, man. You running a 3S, Chris? 2S, nice. You don't need over amounts of power with these little boats. They can only move so much water through that jet before it just starts sucking in air or aerating what it's doing. <laughs> nice job, Chris. Are you running three cell, Chris? Two S. What motor you got in there? Jackson. Yeah, what's your KV? Do you know? Whatever the 18th is. That just means you don't need full throttle. That's right. Basically half throttle all the way. One too many RCs with his tear into boat here. Is that one of your light bars? It's a police light bar. It's a police light bar. eBay? Oh, really? I guess I'll leave a link to his Facebook in the video description box below if you guys want to check out some inexpensive but good LED lights. Oh, good try. <laughs> Once air starts getting sucked into the propulsion system there, it just it loses propulsion. Cavitating like crazy. Yeah, cavitating, that's right. Come on. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, good try. Going against the current. Shout out to our buddy Terry Four Mods on YouTube. He's one of the founders of modding uh, these little Terran two boats. What's up, Terry? Thanks for the inspiration to get all these guys out to have fun with these awesome boats. Nice, good. Yeah, Chris, you're making it look easy, dude. Are you running a 3S, Luke? No, 2S2, eh? So that's not it. Oh man, it looks so good. I've got some of them behaved like that. It's just snowy, it's just wild. But it's good waterfall, you know that water's going to be your best. Up on a high spot. It's literally right out of the water with that kind of. What did you with that kind of uh, immediate stop? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's the second course we laid out for today. Starts way down here at gate one. Really, it's about speed and agility because this one is much more shallow all the way up. But we've got some obstacles to overcome. Should be good. You ready to rip? Sweet. His first time just as a practice, very shallow. Nice job. You got it, you got it. Uh oh. Lost propulsion. Off to the last gate. Sweet job. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> nice. Todd running Captain Calgary's boat today, giving her a test. People always ask me, how come I'm not running in these things? But it's kind of hard to film and uh, race at the same time, though I did bring my boat. Everyone just getting their boats dialed in. Oh! 
This one is a hard one. Here's Justin's mean machine, white and green. Everyone just taking it kind of easy right now, having fun. Nice! <laughs> Landlubber. To the rudder. <laughs> Super fast. So what he's done is he's actually taken the top off a Tupperware container, fitted the inside lip on the inside, and then that way he can close it up watertight. Yeah, very smart, looks good. The silver bullet floating in there as he takes position. going for some difficult aqua gates in his extra large truck. Can't get away from scaling fun even when you're out in the creek. It's the best time to bust out a nice truck and go four by four in. Or swimming. Or swimming. <laughs> oh, he's going for a float. Oh, look at the inside you have, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Justin is more determined than ever to get up here. Oh, and he finally does it right. What? If, that's awesome, dude. Dude, normally it's the opposite. <laughs> Bust out the camera, and you can never do it. Not today. Justin scoring a win. It's rock crawling on the water. That's pretty much it. Just get by the gates if you can. Man, if you don't have the power or you don't have the right angle, you know, it's a combination of things that you need to get up small, uh, well, to the boat, huge obstacles like this. There you go, good angle, good propulsion from the prop. <laughs> Sweet. Dude, you're handling it like a pro now. It's got, it's got a prop. Yeah, this is the recoil. I 
Nice. Oh! Up and over! Not good? Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's got one blade. Oh, it's busted half the prop off. Half power at full power. Oh! <laughs> The silver bullet making his way around. Justin, everybody wants to know about this boat. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the boat? Like, it's white. Did you get a new hull or what happened? No, I used uh, Mother's metal polish to polish off all the paint. You used the a metal original. polish and it dissolved the paint? Yes. And it left everything nice and white? and perfectly polished. And so you painted everything else on there? No, just stickers. Just stickers? But, so yeah. all of this you bought aftermarket? Oh, I, no, or? I painted that. You did paint yeah, it? I painted all that. <laughs> including the eyes? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, that's actually uh, electrical tape. No I'm, way. I'm an electrician, so I cut you, it all out with a... Man, innovation. <laughs> innovation, hey? When, where where yeah. you want something cool and the creativeness yeah. comes in. What are you running inside for electronics? Uh, mostly Hobby King, Turnigy. Okay. Turnigy 60 amp ESC and so, uh, 3400 kV motor. Liquid and in runner? Uh, out run yeah, in runner. In runner, yeah. yeah. In runner brushless. Yeah. Sweet. And what's your ESC? Uh, it's a Turnigy 60 amp. 60 amp. There you go. Because everybody's going to want to know how to upgrade and modify these now that they've seen right. yours, hey? <laughs> <laughs> cool, dude. Thanks. I have oh, yeah. a blade on the back there. Talking about how leaks can come in through the bottom in the jet um, area, right? Forced water gets in there, but he actually doesn't have any leaks. I've got very little, but I definitely do have a little bit in the boat. Not a big deal. Stop, empty it out every run. Just got a few, uh, a few drops in there. Not a big deal. So here's my rig. Got a 3500 uh, kV right there. Uh, Swordfish ESC, uh, Spectrum receiver on the inside, all styrofoam up front, uh, a flex shaft on the inside, and a small, uh, you know, a rider bar basically, so it protects this back jet propulsion system. This is how they, they turn, is the water jets out of here moving left and right. <laughs> I built a big engine on top, of the, on top of the engine that was already there. <laughs> cool. Battery charge in, off to the side. So there's a look at the prop. This is why you guys don't use props in the uh, in the in the in the river or in the creeks because it chews it up and then you're done.